my name is Borislav Panofsky. I'm with Whitewater Rafting Education. In this episode, we're going to talk about river hazards and river classifications. There are six grades of rivers, usually referred to as classes. Class 1, easy. Fast moving water with riffles and small waves, few obstructions, all obvious and easily missed with little training. Risk to swimmers is slight, self rescue is easy. Class 2, novice. Straightforward rapids with wide, clear channels which are evident without scouting. Occasional maneuvering may be required, but rocks and medium-sized waves are easily avoided by trained paddlers. Swimmers are rarely injured and group assistance, while helpful, is rarely needed. Class 3 Intermediate Rapids with moderate, irregular waves which may be difficult to avoid and which can swamp an open canoe. Complex maneuvers in fast currents and good boat control in tight passages or around ledges are often required. Large waves or strainers may be presented but are easily avoided. Strong eddies and powerful current effects can be found particularly on large volume rivers. Scouting is advisable for inexperienced parties, injuries while swimming are rare, self-rescue is usually easy but group assistance may be required to avoid long swims. Rapids that are at the lower or upper end of this difficulty range are designed as class 3 minus or class 3 plus. Class 4 Advanced Intense and powerful but predictable rapids requiring precise boat handling in turbulent water. Depending on the character of the river, it may feature large unavoidable waves and holes or constricted passages demanding fast maneuvers under pressure. Scouting may be necessary the first time down. Risk of injury to swimmers is moderate to high and water conditions may make self-rescue difficult. Group assistance for rescue is often essential but requires practice skills. For kayakers, a strong row is highly recommended. Rapids that are on the lower or upper end of this difficulty range are designed as class 4 minus or class 4 plus. Behind me, it's a class 4 rapid. It's called the Cascades. As you can see, there's a lot of turbulent white water, a lot of holes, a lot of drops. Maneuvering in this water must be really precise. There's a lot of must-make moves about dangerous features. Swimming in water like this can be really dangerous. Class 5 Expert Extremely long, obstructed or very violent rapids which expose a paddler to added risk. Drops may contain large, unavoidable waves and holes or steep shoots with complex demanding roots. Rapids may continue for long distances between pools, demanding, demanding a high level of fitness. What eddies exist may be small, turbulent or difficult to reach. At the high end of the scale, several of these factors may be combined. Scouting is recommended but may be difficult. Swims are dangerous and rescue is often difficult even for experts. Proper equipment, extensive experience and practice skills are essential. Class 6 Extreme Runs of this classification are rarely attempted, the consequences of errors are severe and rescue may be impossible. For teams of experts only, at favorable water levels, after close personal inspection and taking all precautions. After a class 6 rapid has been run many times, its rating may be changed to an appropriate class 5 rating. The grade of a river or a rapid is likely to change along with the level of the water. High water usually makes rapids more difficult and dangerous, 
Auto some rapids may be easier at high flows because features are covered or washed out. At flood stage even rapids which are usually easy can contain lethal and unpredictable hazards. Some rapids may be easier with lower water levels when dangerous hydraulics become easier to manage. Some rivers with high volumes of fast moving water may require little maneuvering but will pose serious risk or injury in the event of a flip or a capsize. The grade of the river depends on the river difficulty, water level, how remote it is from a village, the possibility of specialized help, how is the weather, the gear. All of those combined can make a river more or less dangerous. As water level changes, so is the difficulty in the rapids. Some features become easier, others more difficult. The lines also change. You can see behind me how this rapid is way easier in lower level than it is in higher level. Okay guys, that was another episode of Whitewater Routing Education. We talked about river classifications. There's one to six and seven is heaven, right? If you want to keep those series up, you can help us by donating. You can see more information in the link below. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay tuned, have fun and see you on the river.